good morning students today i am going to start fourth unit we have already done 33 units first unit we have done research methodology definition meaning objectives and process of research then research designing and uh, we have already done the sampling types of sampling techniques sampling process meaning of sampling data collection method of data collection measurement and questionnaire designing now i am going to start fourth unit research reports meaning of research report what is a research report research report is complete a study that reports an investigation or exploration of a problems identifies questions to be addressed and include data collected analyzed and interpreted by the research research reports are details and accurate accounts of the conduct of disciplined study accomplished to solve problems or to reveal a new knowledge and another definition of research report research report must be complete well organized carefully drafted if their contents are to be contributed to fields in which the research reports are made this is essentially means of communication to the peers in the field to judge the value of research work done now difference between research reports and research proposal and research reports and research articles the first difference between research report and research proposal is a research report is prepared after a study is completed and research proposal is prepared before a study begins a research report communicate what was actually done in a study and what resulted and research proposal is communicates a researcher's plan for a study difference between research report and research article research report is a primary source and research article is a secondary source research report the methods and results of an original study performed by the researcher in article does not report original research by the author next are types of research report there are variety of research reports the audience to whom a research report is addressed has to be kept in view in the generation of research report the research report may be divided into the following types technical reports popular reports interim reports and summary reports the first is technical report the technical report is essentially technical in nature and written in technical language it also contain technical appendix for methodologies detail copies of measuring instruments scale etc popular reports popular report is for audience like executives administrators and other non technical user complicated statistical techniques and table can be used otherwise using graphical and pictorial representation will be used now the difference of technical report and popular report technical report are, is technical in which we are using a technical appendix for methodological detail and the popular report are used by executives administrators and other non technical field and other non technical users now next hai interim report and summary report interim report where there is a long time lag between data collection and the presentation of results interim report will be a suitable kind of report to present data as when the phase of project work gets completed the interim report contains the narration of what has been done so far and what was the outcome it present a summary of the finding of that part if analysis which has been completed summary report summary report is generally prepared for the consumptions of the lay audience it is written in non technical simple language with liberal use of pictorial pictorial charts it just contain brief reference to the object of study and major findings and their implications these type of reports are generally used in study report like in college university students and for other purpose 
Now next is structure of research report. The research report format mainly consists of three main sections. The first section is introductory section, second is the main body of the report and third is the reference section. Now the first section it includes the title page, acknowledgement, table of content, list of table, list of figures and abstract. This is the introductory stage of the introductory part of any report. The second part is the body of the report. The body of the report include the introduction. An introduction include the statement of problem, significant of the problem, purpose, statement of the hypothesis, assumptions, limitations and definitions of important terms we are, which are we are using in the reports. Second is review of related literature. Here we can say that review of literature. Third include the design of study. What a type of design you are using in your research? We have done the meaning of research design, types of research design. Design of study include the description of research design and source of data. What type of source you are using to collect of data like primary or secondary source? Sampling procedures, methods and instrument of data gathering and statistical treatments. Fourth is analysis of data. It includes the table and figure. Results and discussion the major findings of your report, yeah, for major finding of your research. Summary and conclusion, it includes the conclusion and recommendation for further investigation. Last is the reference section. Reference section bibliography include in this. Now we will explain the first from first. First is the introductory section. Introductory section include the title page. Title page identify the title of report, the name of research, the name of guide, the name of researcher, the name of institution, month and year of submission. The title should communicate what the study is about. A well constructed title make it easy for the readers to understand and determine the nature of the topic. Acknowledgements include this page permit the writer to express appreciation to persons who have contributed significantly to the research. Next is table of content. The table of content is outline of the report that indicate the page number on which each major section and subsection begins. List of table. A list of table, all table included in the report along with the page number should be provided. List of figures. A list of all the figures included in the report along with the page number should be provided. An abstract. Abstract is a brief but comprehensive summary of the research report. It includes a concise statement of the goal of research, the type of participants and instruments, outline the methods, major results and conclusion. Abstract must be limited to the specific number of words, usually between 100 to 500 words. Second is the body of the report. The body of report include introduction. The introduction section provides the theoretical framework of the study within which the research has been conducted, background information of the topic as well as the need for rationale for the research to make the material more logical, useful and interesting for the readers. The introduction begins with description of research problems, topic include objects, significant of the problem, research questions and statement of hypothesis if you are using any hypothesis and it include the assumptions of study, definition of important terms, limitation and determination of your study. Next is review of literature. The review of literature indicate what is known about the problem or topic, its function to educate the reader about the area under study. Next is design of the study. This section provides the detailed description of the methodology used in your study. For example, population, sample size, sampling techniques, tools that are 
used in your study. The purpose of this section to describe the detail how a researcher performed the study so that someone should be able to replicate the study based on the information that researcher provide in this section. For a qualitative study, this section may also include the detailed description of nature, length of the interaction which the participants, the description of participants include information about how they were selected and mainly representative of the population. Now the description indicate the purpose of instrument, the validity and reliability of the instrument that you are using in your research. Next is analysis of data. This section describes the statistical technique or the inferential interpretations that were applied to the data and result of these analysis. Tables and figures are used to present finding or graphic form which add clarity in finding a finding for a reader. It include table and graph. Now next is results and discussion. The results section is to tell the reader what was found in this study. It include the descriptive statistics for the relevant variables, mean, standard deviation. Then tell the reader what statistical test you use to test your hypothesis and what you find. And what you found means what is your result of your study. The discussion section is where the researcher interpret the evaluate result the discussions of research report section present and theoretical and practical implication of the finding and make recommendation for the future research. Discuss the result of current study explaining exactly what was found means your result of you know, what are your result account for the research finding relate back to the previous research theories highlighted in the introduction or it discuss the limitation of current study and provide ideas for future research and with the conclusion. Next is summary and conclusion. Conclusion is a summary of the main idea that come out from the discussion. It draw back, it draws all arguments and finding together. It indicate whether hypothesis were accepted or rejected. It summarize major finding of the study the purpose of this section is to evaluate, interpret the result, especially with respect to original research question. The reference section. Reference section include the bibliography. The reference section provide the reader with all the information needed to speak out, obtain all the original source used in the research. It is written in alphabetical order. Next is appendix. This section provides a place for important information. It includes tools prepared by researcher and used in the study. It may be lettered, interview, names, raw data or data analysis sheets. This is a sample of research paper or sample of research report. The first is sem simple sample title page. Next is abstract. Abstract is a summarized problem, participant, hypothesis, method, use, result, conclusion, assumptions. All things, what is your main objective of your study, why you are conducting this study, all are included in the abstract part. Now next is the introduction page. Introduction page, this is a format. Center the title one inch from top double space. This is the basically format of research report. The writer, next is sample research section, how to make a graph. This is the reference and bibliography part. This is the reference, how we can write the reference. Now, thanks.